Tonight we will go to Basilicata and this stuff and the pressing pandemic times when we are only allowed to leave our houses if we are out of toilet paper the best alternative to travel without abandoning your fortress is wine so sit back relax and join me on 20 Italian wine regions with core breaker let's go from one small and lesser known wine region, let's move to another one. Basilicata may not be the most affluent region, yet it is rich in natural beauty. Actually, it is one of the most mountainous regions in Italy, with around 47% mountains and 45% hills, leaving only 8% of the flatlands. Very similar to the Trentino Alto Adige. It is surrounded by the Campania and Puglia to the north, Calabria to the south, and it is also washed by Tyrrhenian and Ionian seas. Region is better known for Vino da Tavola or EGT wines, which takes around 98% of the whole production, leaving only 2% for 4 DLCs. Hey, that's a lot. Best wines come from Volture Massif in the north, where vineyards are located around Mont Voltour on volcanic soils. The figurehead of the region is the red grape Aglianico del Volture. It makes long lasting, robust, and elegant wines which have thick skins and natural high acidity and therefore ripens very late in the season and in cool areas harvest lasts right up until the first week of November. But there is always but. Because Aglianico del Volture occupies 80% of the vineyards which are very steep and are only accessible by foot or by mules, it is not a big surprise that region is in the last place by wine production with only 0.3% and this cause some of the winemakers give up sell their vineyards and move to the easier winemaking regions. Pack your things, we're leaving. So if you still have never tried a Glanico del Volture, I would advise you to hurry up. To better convince you why you should visit this region, here are three reasons. Number one is Matera, the city of cave settlements, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, European capital of culture in 2019, and a location where Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ was filmed. Not the easiest movie I ever saw. <laughs> it looks so amazing that you need a whole day to admire its beauty, spending half of it admiring history, and the other half admiring its beauty from a distance. Next activity is angel flight across two mountain peaks at high speed called Volo dell'Angelo. This thrilling full of adrenaline drive is the thing that we all need after these lazy quarantine months. And lastly is Cardoncelli Impananti e Fritti or in English fried king oyster mushrooms. Everybody loves fried food and I am not an exception and these breaded and fried mushrooms sound and I bet it tastes delicious. So the wine of the region is Titolo Anglianico del Vulture 2018 from Elana Fucci Winery. Winery was established in the year 2000, but the history of the vineyards goes back to the 1960s when Generoso, the grandfather of Elana Fucci, bought 6 hectare vineyard Contrada Solana of Titolo at the foot of the Mount Vulture. Over the years, grandfather and great grandfather took care of the vineyard, selling the grapes and keeping some to produce wine for personal consumption. But when they were about to sell the vineyard, years, Elena decided to change her plans, convincing her parents that she could make wine in this historic and unique land. So the first vintage came in the year 2000, concurrently with her studies at the Faculty of Viticulture and Enology. At first four years, winery was assisted by external consultant, but after that it was completely in the family hands. They decided to stake everything on one Titolo label, envisioning it as a high quality, first class wine from six 60 to 70 year old wines placed at 650 meters of altitude. This wine is aged in French oak for 12 months and after that matured for another 6 months in the bottle. Now let's taste it. It has a medium intensity garnet color in the nose, medium plus intensity aromas of blueberries, rosemary, crushed black currant, cherry stones and tobacco. Mouth has medium plus acidity medium plus alcohol and mouthful of masculine tannins. On the palate, taste of dark berries with chocolate. For the conclusion, uh, this wine shows how much potential is hidden in this volcanic region and I am sure we will see more of it in the near future. Let me know in the comments if you tried Aglianico de Volture. Don't forget to like and follow. Salute!